Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome back to Hila Live. My name is Faraz Patel. We say jazakallah to you for staying with us. I'd also like to thank my colleague Lukman Shadrak for taking us through that first one hour. Now, the Nelson Mandela Children's Fund is a charitable organization founded by the late President Nelson Mandela. It is an organization that was set up by the president himself to help children from the birth up until the age of 22. The Nelson Mandela Children's Hospital and the Nelson Mandela Children's Parliament are among many initiatives that are used by the Nelson Mandela Children's Fund. Joining us now to discuss this is the organization's chief program officer, Dr. Stanley Maposa. Dr. Maposa, good evening and thank you so much for joining us here on Hila Live. Thank you very much uh, for the opportunity for us to come and speak in this particular platform to all your listeners. We really appreciate this opportunity. No, it's an absolute pleasure. Dr. Mabosa, let's talk about, obviously, the the, uh, the Children's Fund. It's been there since 1995, one year into, of course, the late uh, uh, president being, you know, the head statesman of the country. Uh, when this organization was formed, of course, it was based on one thing and one thing only, to help children, to get them on the feet, especially those that what we saw in apartheid, of course, many children being denied the equal opportunities, but also at that time, many children who did not have the rights and the response, the rights, and of course, everything else that was in, enshrined in the constitution. Yes, you, you are very right. You know, Nelson Mandela in 1995 started this organization, the Nelson Mandela Children's Fund, and it's the oldest of his legacy organizations. And uh, the concentration, as you have said, is around children and youth. It is based on his love for the youth and uh, the sacrifices that he made around ensuring that society changes the way in which uh, it treats children and youth. And this organization, as I've already indicated, has got four areas where we are responding to the youth issues. The one is child health. The second one is child safety and protection. And the third one is uh, child poverty or economic resilience among the poor uh, of the poorest. And then the last one is youth empowerment and youth development. Uh, Dr. Maposa, when, when obviously uh, the, 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 the fun had started, I mean, we had come from a euphoric sense uh, within that period. A lot has changed from now up until then. What work now is the fund doing in order to make sure that children are looked after? Because there are many challenges that is happening in the country, and we see the unemployment rate right now of 60 percent. Now, I know you only help children up until the age of 22, but up until that age, what work is the fund doing in order to make sure that children are assisted, especially when they enter into to adulthood? There are a lot of interventions that we do, but primarily our niche is the empowering the communities to do it themselves. We are not doing it ourselves. So we work with what we call implementing partners, the community based organizations that we recruit. And uh, when we have recruited them, we find them to be able to do this work on our behalf and with us, so in partnership with us, to be able to gather communities and, and create the awareness around parenting, around immunization. And for the group that we have talked about, we give them a voice. We have said earlier, we have what we call the children, the Nelson Mandela Children's Parliament. So from local level right up to national level, we create platforms so that young people can engage in the, in, in the integrated development plan of the local municipality, in the district development plan of the district, right up to the province. And last week, as you said, we were, had a sitting, the 11th city of the Nelson Mandela Children's Parliament, so that children themselves would speak their issues to policy, so that they are able then to address uh, unemployment, poverty, and all the issues that really address that age group you talked about. Yeah, I wanted to ask about that uh, children's parliament because 
you know, in South Africa, you know, there's always the question around, you know, the depth of leadership. So how important is that parliament in making sure that children from a young age are able to become leaders, but not just become leaders with the title, but also able to serve their communities and their constituencies, which they would like to have that service for, you know, in the future? Yes, definitely. I, 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 think, I think that the critical part is uh, entrepreneurship for the youth, is also leadership skills for the youth, but it's also you know, advocacy. Advocacy is the ability to stand and influence the laws, the policies, as well as the finances that go into all the activities, whether they are done by government, civil society, or whosoever on behalf of children. So, so our, our, our real message is that children should be at the center of each and every intervention. And we don't just speak on their behalf, but we allow them to speak for themselves, which is what we call childism. The, the, the Children's Hospitals and other uh, organizations has been running for such a long time, of course, being part of the Children's Fund. Uh, talk to us about that, because health care really is dire in South Africa, especially for so many of the underprivileged children. So what work does the Children's Hospital do in order to make sure that even if not equal health care is achieved, but, you know, uh, uh, good health care? forced uh, children, of course, suffering from so many diseases, which the Children's Hospital looks after? The, the, the hospital is a third level or almost fourth level type of hospital. So people cannot just walk in. They must be referred okay. by a doctor uh, for complications of children, whether they are heart diseases, uh, cardiology, or whatever. All forms of uh, uh, diseases that affect children are treated at the hospital by specialists. So what, what, what really happens is that a child is referred, and if there are children from poor communities, they get to be treated free of charge based on the charity and the donations that we receive from people. But those that are with medical aid should ask their doctors to refer them, and then they will pay for themselves. So we've got both the, the private patients and the public patients in that hospital and high level the kind of staff and equipment that will be able to treat issues that uh, children have in terms of uh, sicknesses. And, and the hospital is, is something that comes from Madiba, Mandela's, uh, it's the last bond, mm -hmm. they say, of Mandela's organizations where he really wanted to see a hospital which will treat the, the diseases that affect children. And it's the second in the country. And, 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 and our message is simple. Why should children die uh, when there is a hospital around for them? So let them be referred and they get the treatment. And, and let, let's get support of those that want to see these children enjoy good health like everybody else. Of course, Dr. Maposa, with the 67 minutes, which is one of the key elements of Mandela Day. So I know every year there's a theme that, uh, you know, uh, the Children's Fund would do. But talk to us about the theme for 2023, because obviously this is the, the 10th year of the passing of the great Nelson Mandela. Yes, it's 67 minutes, mm. and uh, we are just asking people around, your listeners and everybody, you just go to our website. We have an exciting campaign that uh, we are asking just for 67 rands. Each minute is a rand. It's a minimum, but you can give more to be able to support this initiative of the Nelson Mandela Children's Fund. In one of his clips when he was interviewed, Nelson Mandela said this organization is not going to die as long as there are men and women that are good. And we are calling upon good men and women out there to just come and join us uh, for these 67 minutes. If they donate just 67 rand, is the, is the least they can do. And then we are able then to get that, package it into communities, address the health of children, address the safety of children, address the poverty of children, and also empower children to get a voice in the policy space. Um, Dr. Maposa, the legacy, we know, obviously, uh, President Mandela left so much of legacies within our country. But what is the one that will stand out in terms of the Children's Fund and just 
empowering youth and empowering children. We know he loved children, but of, and he was, of course, the father of the nation. But how does this, of course, transcend into the Children's Fund and the work that has been done in this organization to honor the legacy of the great man? The, 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 the legacy of the great man is about reconciliation, mm -hmm. is about, you know, a service, is about love, is about peace, but also it's about the love for children. Mm -hmm. And therefore, in terms of the, the, the impact that we are making in the communities, we're reaching over 200,000 children on a day-to-day -day basis, but also in policy, we're reaching all children in the country. When we, we when we sit in the parliament with the children and the influence the, the, the policies and the laws, all children get to be empowered. So it's inclusivity, it's equity, it's the values of Mandela, which are not uh, values of an individual person, but are any uh, values of a collective, which is a message that when we work together, uh, for children, we can definitely change the way society is particular. Dr. Sandy Mabosa, we'd like to say thank you so much uh, for making time for us and continue to do the great work within the Nelson Mandela Children's Fund. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the opportunity that we can talk uh, and, and, and have this opportunity in your station. Thank no, you very much. No, it's an absolute pleasure. Dr. Stanley Maposa is the Chief Program Officer at the Nelson Mandela Children's Fund. Well, the theme, of course, of Mandela Day continues. After the break, I talk to Ashraf Garda. We're going to be speaking about how uh, South Africans can channel the inner champion that, of course, President Mandela had given to us. After the break, I'll have that conversation with him. Do stay tuned.